UFOs, strange lights in the sky, aliens. Are they real? I don't know, but I can show you how to make cool shots like that in DaVinci Resolve. First, grab your phone and start filming the sky. I would keep it close to the horizon so that you have details for tracking later. All right, so I've got my footage here in Resolve. Just gonna right click, new fusion clip, and hop on into fusion. All right, first off, let's add a tracker. So I'm gonna bring that over somewhere with high contrast. I think this house right here looks good. So if we wanna track the scale and rotation of this, we need to add another tracker. Now I'm gonna set the adaptive mode to best match and just track forward. Now I was able to get a good track out of this, but if your trackers start going wonky and go off for one frame, what you can do is take the center on that frame and bring it back to wherever you want it to be. All right, now let's see how that track look. Let's bring down a text, then something like track. And then the tracker, we need to set the operation to match move. And if we play that, our text is sticking to that mountain really well. Now under the match move settings, you'll see the reference, there's start and end. So right now it's set on start. So if I go to the first frame, the text is in exactly the same place as it is from the text node. But if I go to the last frame, you see it's zoomed in a little bit. If I switch it to end, you can see it's centered on the last frame, but on the first frame it's zoomed out. So for this, since we're zooming in, I want the most detail when it's zoomed in, so I'm gonna set the reference to end. Now really a good track does 60% of the work in this effect. So let's delete the text and bring down a background node. Then I'm going to add an ellipse to that background node. So I'm just going to squeeze it down and play with the size until I get a kind of UFO shape. I'm also going to take the background and just choose a color that looks kind of black in this area. Because the further away something is, the lighter the black point gets. So you want to match that. One thing you can do is put a keyframe on the center and move that to wherever we want it to be. Maybe over here. And then on the last frame, let's say it has moved over here. Yeah, that looks nice. One thing we can do to really up the realism of this is under the settings of the tracker, we can just turn on motion blur and maybe bring up the quality a little bit. So now our UFO has actual motion blur and it really looks like it's in the footage. One thing I might do, since it's pretty cloudy, I might bring down the alpha a little bit so it looks like it's kind of blending behind the clouds a little bit. This won't work in every situation, but it looks nice for this shot. So now let's start compositing this to make it fit in the shot better. First, I'm going to add a blur because UFOs are always out of focus for some reason. So you can see the trees in this footage are really sharp. So let's add a sharpen. That already looks better. I'm going to add a green. And then finally, I think I'm going to add a JPEG damage. And maybe just bring up the quality on that a little bit. So this already looks really good and I think pretty convincing. But if you can't get it to look just right, one trick you can do to hide some of your imperfections is add a resize and then divide the width and the height by four. Because even though phones can shoot in 4K these days, we're still getting UFO videos in the worst possible resolution. And of course, don't go like posting this on the internet and try to convince people it's real. This is just for fun, maybe prank your friends, something like that. And there's no right way to do this effect, so really use your imagination. Try playing with the shape of the UFO or the color, maybe add a little bit of glow, or you could just be way less subtle and just track in a picture of something. You could also try adding a 3D spaceship to your scene. And if you don't know how to do that, then check out this video here.